Actually, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, so not that early. I feel like I've been up for forever and I need a lot more coffee. But we are at Ace Hardware and it is Project Fireplace this week. So I'm looking for paint. Things first, we must clean out the fireplace. I thought it'd be a good idea to wear white pants today too, you know? So, we're not going to use this fireplace here, but look at how cool this, like, herringbone brick is, and it needs- Yucky, that's so dirty! It needs to be highlighted, so I'm trying to get this off. I need a screwdriver. I'm going to get this off. Baby is helping. I feel like if we just rip it, we'll probably be good, huh? So we're going to clean this all out and get that off. Took the screens off. I did a quick vacuum in here. Ooh, still looks a little rough, so we're gonna do a nice little scrub down. And then that's when the fun comes. We're gonna test out some paint colors, and the idea is to paint the inside and the outside. You're the birdie. Where's the birdie? I love projects like this because I feel like it's one of those things you have in your house and you're like, it's fine, but you really, you kind of just have to think outside the box with like all the things that we have. You don't have to buy anything else. You can use what you have, like an old bookshelf or a fireplace that you don't use, and you just make it, like you enhance it. About paint colors here. So the whole room is very open. Got the living room space right here. There's the front door. Here's the dining room, and then obviously I'm in the kitchen, which has some of the October mist paint right there. So we already went through this when I painted that blue, and it was just a little too ah, for that space. So I want to make sure that it has a flow, and I'm not stuck with a color necessarily. You can paint something, you're like, now everything has to be blue. I want it to just be a highlight and a pop and like a feature. So I did a little sample of this color. It's called... Muskaka Trail. It's like a really good, just like vintage white, I'd like to say. So I'm going to show you the colors, and I think I made a decision. So here's the three I did <laughs> a little bit of the white paint in the middle one, then a little more white with the October mist, and I think I'm going to just do the tan color. I think it'll really make this pop painting because we have to jump on a podcast call in a second so I figured let's do a little giveaway with the toilet in the background um Smith and Morrow was so sweet to offer I have my little bee necklace from them um but to offer um their friends Lele these beautiful kimonos these are so cute to like have over a bathing suit and then a pair of their gold hoop earrings so this is over $700 value for these two I'm gonna pick a winner just slide and follow really hoping to paint today, but I forgot the boys had a lacrosse game. It got delayed an hour and it's now almost six o'clock. So not painting today, but I did pick up the paint. So we're ready for tomorrow. And you know, I've been really trying to be okay with normal me is like rush through everything. Let's like do a project. I want to do it all in a day. And I do like moving fast and I do like being efficient. But at the same time, I've been really trying this year to just be very like, go to the kids game and be present and watch them and do the painting tomorrow and like have, find joy in that. And so, and it really is fun if I just like allow myself to not think I need to be in a rush all the time. So painting will happen tomorrow. Um, you guys want to see what the outside looks like? They did make it, make their way slowly, but surely they're making their way around the house really really good obviously the doors need to get painted but here's the other side actually i don't think they've done up there yet i mean that's what i'm saying like there's so many crooks and nannies in this house i mean but look 
This looks so good. Even the old lights look good. Every single time I say crooks and nannies, I get like a thousand messages of either people getting it and knowing my sense of humor and laughing with me, or they're correcting me like, no, it's not. I don't even know how to say it right. Nooks and crannies. It's crooks and nannies. It's like doing a little water hey, show here. Look at him! Oh, what are they doing? What? Snap 